Okay, I'm going to show you another tool today. Um, tool is actually another couple of tools. I'm going to show you how to use shell. I'm going to show you how to use rib as well. Okay, this is going to be very useful if you want to hollow something out and then maybe go back and decide if you want to stiffen, stiffen something up afterwards. So I've got a file open with some geometry here that I've created. You can see that I've got a surface, just an irregular surface here. I've got a elliptical profile here. And then I've got some lines here that I'm going to use for the rib tool later on. So I just wanted to share that with you. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this elliptical profile but uh, I don't need to uh, extrude it and then split it. What I can do is I can actually use a tool inside of the um, extrude uh, tool to actually project it to that curved surface. So for the profile, I'm going to select this profile and the default is always one inch. I'm going to change the selection to select face. And that's here, and it gives me a nice little preview of what it's going to look like, and that's exactly what I want. So instead of specifying a distance, I can actually get a surface to um, to have the end point of the extrusion, and that's very useful. So you don't have to do a split afterwards. Say OK, and that's done. Now this might be a little busy, might be a little too much information in there, so I can also go ahead and hide this face so I don't need to see it anymore. So if I go over here in the window, I can go ahead and take um, the, uh, let's see here, the extrusion surface here. I can right click on that and I can uncheck visibility and it'll hide it for me. That way it doesn't uh, show up in my window and I can see the solid a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Now, if you take a look at this thing, it's solid all the way through, but I want to hollow it out. But this is where the shell command comes into play. I'm going to go to shell. Okay, and I'm going to select the object. Okay, now right now the thickness is 0 0.1, and that's not what I want. I'm going to actually change this to 0 0.03. You can actually see what this looks like. I'm going to go back and redo this shell. Okay, 0 0.03. And let's say that I want to have it open in the bottom because right now what it's doing is it's basically subtracting everything on the inside but I can't really tell unless I zoom in and I can see that that's there and that's what I did before by accident is I clicked the wrong face so I hit the remove face button and I can click on this face here Remove face, click this bottom, and you can see it makes it hollow so I can see on the inside, and that's exactly what I want. Okay, so this makes this completely hollow except for the bottom, it just basically takes the bottom off so I can see on the inside. Now, let's say that I try to pinch it across the side here and it's a little weak, so I want to add some stiffening rib in here, and that's what I'm going to use this other geometry for. Okay. Now, I'm going to also put a couple of points in here so I can mess around with the ribs a little bit. So I'm going to go into this other sketch here, and I'm just going to insert a couple of points right there and right there. We might come back and use those later. Okay, so what I'm going to use now here is rib. I'm going to create some new geometry with rib, and I've got to be very careful what I have selected here. So I've got normal to sketch plane and parallel to sketch plane. I want to make sure that I'm normal to sketch plane, and so this thickness is a little too thick. So I'm going to change this to 0 0.02. And I'm going to make sure that this deflects on both sides. Okay. So I'm going to pick profile. I'm going to pick one thing here, and it's not showing up. Now I basically reset this so we can start over here with the rib. We've got to make sure again we're in normal sketch plane. I got to make sure that my thickness is about what I want. And then you can modify that while you're creating. Now, the one thing that might get confusing here is this if, with these two buttons. And you might have to switch the geometry there. Now, as far as profile goes, and for this, this button here, we want to make sure that we have um, this is going to tell you that you want to offset the thickness half on one side, half on the other. 
or completely on one side, completely on the other. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select a piece of geometry in here, and you can see that it's going to create a rib all the way down. That's where this button is to the next surface, which is there. Now this is finite, which means I can only make it a certain number of, of uh, a certain distance long, but I want to go ahead and make it all the way down on the inside of the part. And I can keep go ahead and selecting all my geometry here. And you can see that I had a boss suddenly appear, and that's where the points come into play. So the points, if I have points in my profile, that's going to give me the boss that I want. And the boss diameter, I can change that here. I'm going to change that to 0 0.05 just to modify it. And you can see that it's a little bit different. Okay, and we can. Okay, so what you have you see here is I went ahead and hit OK without putting the draft on there. But if I wanted to, I could go back and add that in to be able to add that um, at the same time so I don't have to do it separately. So that is a quick overview of how to use the shell command and also the rib command, and you can Im import bosses in here. Now, the nice thing about the bosses is you can also put a point on these planes, and if you want to put a hole through the whole thing, you can do that as well. So that's another useful tool, another useful reason for, for putting the bosses in there. Thank you very much.